What's up YouTube? So today we do have an uh, interesting kind of video. So I was uh, scrolling through the internet and I found a backpack. It's Canon's new EDC 10, I believe. It's like their everyday carry backpack, carry your camera, two lenses, and then it said a seven inch tablet. So I've been thinking about getting this bag. I haven't, you know, actually decided on whether or not I'm gonna buy it, but I've been thinking about getting it, right? I was like, well, I have a camera, two lenses, but I don't have a tablet. And see, the thing is I have a backpack, okay? But sometimes you don't need all that. And I do have a shoulder bag, but I don't know. I just feel like it would be better to have a strap on like across that way I can run or maneuver better than having, you know, a shoulder bag right here. Um, plus I have room for, uh, for another lens and stuff like that. But I like I said, I haven't gotten the bag yet. Um, I'm thinking about it. However, I don't have a tablet and the reason I started thinking more about the tablet is because taking my laptop to places just where I have to edit photos, not a video, it's a bit overkill because it's, you know, I have to take out the laptop, the charger, then I have, you know, the hard drive, the external hard drive, you know, to back up all my stuff on. And I need a whole backpack for that. But if I'm gonna go on a shoot and I wanna go hang out with friends or just, you know, I'm gonna be around and I'm not gonna have time to sit down and edit on my laptop, I figured, you know, tablet's pretty good in between you know what I mean my phone is kind of it's too small to get exact uh, details right when I'm editing a photo and but a tablet would just be just right so that being said let's unbox this baby All right guys, so why did I choose the Amazon Fire 7 tablet? Um, I'll tell you the main reason is honestly because of budget. I didn't wanna go spend a crazy amount on a tablet because I need more camera gear, better lighting and all that stuff and I'm just trying to save my money in general. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna get a basic tablet and because I saw a whole bunch of reviews on tablets that were like over $200 and I was, I'm, I'm not a professional photographer yet. I'm not trying to spend a lot of money on something that I'm not ma exactly making money off of right away. So I just got something basic and basically I'm just gonna test it to see if it can do some simple edits enough to get me clients and for to help, to help me you know, edit on the run. Like, let's say I'm going somewhere like I just don't feel comfortable bringing my laptop, it's also a lot of weight and it's a quick shoot. I could just carry this along with me I can edit photos, I can also read if I get bored or just, you know, review things. I didn't see any sort of reviews on using this at, to edit your photos. I don't even know if you can. So that's part of why, like I said, budget wise. So I'm gonna make a video on how to edit your photos on a Amazon Fire 7 tablet because if it's affordable and any photographer can do it, then I think it's very important that I help you guys know that. So. Let's get to it. Let's edit some photos. What's up guys? So I did not expect this video to be so difficult. So I bought the Amazon tablet and I've run into so, so many challenges with this darn tablet. And I'm just gonna share them with you just, just to put it into perspective. All right, 
So, here's the thing. I bought this Amazon Fire 7 thing. And I was like, all right, budget tablet. Let's see if, uh, you know, if I need to edit photos on the go. Or somewhere, I, you know, I can't lug around my laptop. Let me just, let me just get something. So, that way I can edit on the fly. So, number one. Um, Adobe Lightroom, or Photoshop Express, was not on... Uh, Amazon's App Store. They have their own App Store, which I didn't know. That's that's my fault for not doing enough research. Um, two, had to download third-party software just to get Google Play so I could download Lightroom. Not a super pain in the ass, but it was pretty close. Okay, so I download, you know, Lightroom. I'm like, great, my problems are solved, at least. That's what I thought, but they they were not because uh, I edited a couple photos and they looked like this. Um, very oversaturated. They look fine on my tablet. Just completely, completely different images. So at first, uh, I thought this was, you know, just a problem with my phone. My phone's being weird, but then I sent it to um, my friend and they said, no, mine looks the same. When I looked at it on the computer and it looks way oversaturated. So I think somehow, the colors on the tablet, I don't know if it's because it's an Android tablet or what. Like I said, this is a budget tablet. I didn't spend a bunch of money on this. But the colors are coming out weird with the neon one. But however, however, with the picture that didn't have any neon lights and was just pretty much just white light, regular street light, came out fine. So... Here's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so what I've decided to do is that I'm just going to edit the photos on my tablet that don't have uh, the neon lights in them because I think it's just too color heavy for, uh, I guess, the color science of my tablet to handle. So until I can figure this out, that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna kinda, I mean, as far as, far as this video goes, I don't think I can recommend this tablet, which isn't Amazon's fault. I didn't design it to do that. I just wanted to see if it could do it, you know, because it's budget friendly. And uh, that would be awesome if it could do that. So, <sighs> yeah, as of right now, I'm not recommending it. And, uh, but yeah, let's, let's go edit some photos and uh, let's see how they turn out. What's up guys? So I did get something a little late in the mail. It was supposed to come yesterday, but I'll show you exactly what it is. So this is a little device. So this little device, okay, plugs in to my tablet and then I can put an SD card, a micro SD, or I can plug in, you know, something else to it, a flash drive, I guess. Um, so that way I can just, instead of emailing it everywhere or trying to connect my, my tablet to the camera, I can just pull the SD card out, plug it in this little thing, it goes into my tablet, and I can start editing. Uh, to be fair, the photos I was trying to edit on them initially uh, are kind of very strenuous to edit. Any type of nighttime shoot is. So what I think I'm going to do is just go out into the daylight, just get some uh, 50 mil shots of like, I don't know, something, and uh, try to edit them in there and see how they come out as opposed to the nighttime shoots, because so far, like I said, this tablet is not doing good, so let's go do this. All right guys, so I'm just gonna sum up the video really quick. So I tried rocking this tablet um, for photo editing and uh, it was not designed for it. I mean, it clearly was not designed for it. I tried to make it into that, 
Um, so this isn't like a review of the tablet necessarily, but if you're going to get a budget tablet for photo editing, this is not the way to go. I can't really recommend to do this for photo editing, which is not Amazon's fault because they didn't make it for it, but uh, you have to download the Google Play Store, which is kind of a hassle. And on top of that, Lightroom doesn't really work so good uh, on that tablet. I kept crashing and sometimes my edit wouldn't even save, so I'd have to restart like three times. I just, yeah, I just would not recommend it. Photo editing, which, you know, kind of sucks. I was excited, you know, I was like, oh, hey, look at that budget tablet. But that's my fault. I should have done my research. Well, now I know why nobody's made a video about photo editing on a Fire 7 tablet. However, I did do it. It is possible. It's just difficult and it's kind of a pain, but it's possible. Um, so if you're gonna if, if you're gonna edit like nighttime photos or anything like that I, I wouldn't even bother you're better off using your iPhone or whatever phone you have um, If you're in a real pinch and you have some daytime photos, they actually don't look bad as you can see here Doesn't look that bad, but again the hassle of like just trying to export your photo and import it Thankfully this little handy dandy thing uh, definitely helped with the workflow uh, so if you do have an Android tablet that takes a micro USB and you use it to edit photos, I would highly recommend getting one of these. I'll put it in the link description, but it's very easy to just plug in and just put an SD card slot in there and get going. But yeah, basically, uh, I would not recommend this for photo editing. Not even, you know what I mean? Uh, just not its thing. However, if you just want a tablet just to, I don't know, watch YouTube on or TV on, you don't feel like lugging a laptop around or you don't have a TV. I mean, this thing is awesome for that. It's very, very budget friendly. Um, the screen resolution, I actually like it. It's pretty nice. Uh, the user interface, I'm not a big fan of, but that's probably just because I have had an iPhone for the past two years. But if you're just using it to, you know, just for media use, like, like I said, YouTube or, you know, your social media, I don't see a problem with it. I think it's great for that, actually. Like if you're, you know, on a plane or, for traveling and car trips like that, I don't think it's bad. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Sorry for the disappointing you know, ending, but at least you know that uh, it's not that good of an idea on this tablet. So there it is. Peace out guys.